guys, we're going to take a look. This is a YAG slit lamp, and it's a YAG laser. And down here is the bulb, which is your light source for the slit lamp. And you can see somebody had done some various repairs in the past. It's, it's got hot marks on it, and there are burns on some of the insulation. So these ones here are together, and you can see what I'm doing. I'm cutting off this connector here, and then I slide up some shrink tube, which basically takes care of all this other burn marks, and then this little connector, which pushes onto the bulb. I'm clipping it out, and we're cleaning it. One of the ways I'll clean it is with like a round file, like this guy right here. It's a really good tool to keep in a kit because even if it's a little bit carboned up, you can just clean it out, make it look nice and fresh. Yep, make sure all those contact points look good. And then we'll clip it. Let's see. So yeah, let's just do it. Let me just. Do what I say I'm gonna do. Okay, so the old shrink tube. Come on. The old sh shrink tube has definitely uh, had better days. So this repair has probably been there for a couple of years. We want to remove as much of the old garbage as possible. Okay. And you can see what they did is they bent over the push-on connector and then they soldered the wire to it on the back. But it created this really rough edge. And this really rough edge right here is what stuck through the shrink tube. And now you just lost any insulation that you thought because you left it like this. So what we do is we clean out the inside of the connector. I'm going to clip it. There we go. So I'm going to straighten this guy out just a little bit. Just like that. And clip it. There we go. Back of the connector is dirty. So I'm going to use my file to clean up some of the corrosion that might be on there. See, before you want to solder it, you want it to be nice and shiny. Gives you a good contact surface. I'm going to put a spot of flux on there because we want it to bond. Just like that. And there's another feature on uh, little cutters like this. You see how it's got the little hole? That hole is a versatile tool for if you need to hold things. You see that? So, what I'm going to do, take my soldering iron, got my solder. I'm going to clean my tip and I'm going to place a solder bead right on that tang of that clip. There we go. There we go. I think that might be pretty good really see it too well in this light but there we go that's a good solder bead okay and the tip okay so I'll let that guy cool down a little bit I make sure it's nice and clean on the other side so this is the port side the side that pushes into the pin looks good let me make sure that it's Got good retention. The lighting in here is really bad, so I hope the camera picks it up. Okay, there we go. So now we got to prep these wires. You can see that this is, it's created hot spots and other garbage because it wasn't the right tool for the job. So I'm going to cut out all the old garbage. 
got to strip the very ends of these back just a little bit. Oh, of course. I wish I had more space to maneuver in here. Okay, so just a little bit. These are really fine wires too. Okay, here we go. Nice bright copper, that's good. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay, nice bright copper. So since these two were together, I'm going to twist the pair. Like so. And now we're going to put a solder bead on them. Just clean the tip. I'm cleaning the tip on a cardboard box down here. <laughs> okay. And let's put a little bit of flux on there. There we go. Next, let's apply some solder. Isn't really sticking too well. Those wires are a little bit corroded. Okay, there I got it. Okay, nice solder bead on there. So now let's place this out of the way so nobody gets burned. So I take a smaller diameter piece of shrink tube. Make sure it's Cool enough to touch. Measure it out, make sure it looks about right. And I'm going to feed the shrink tube up the old wires all the way to the base of the insulation. There it goes. Okay, it's a little too long. Let's cut it out. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, so I want it away from the joint, so when I solder it on, this guy here doesn't start shrinking on me prematurely. All right, let's put this guy back in. Like so, that holds it for me. There we go. So I'm gonna bend the tang over a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh that's a cold solder joint, so I need to get that guy a little more better straightened out. That's definitely burning the heck out of my hand. <laughs> I knew it would. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. That's garbage. Where's my tip right here? Alright, let's try this again. Put some more flux on there. Now this is electronics flux. So you don't have to clean it off afterwards, which is pretty important because other words, if you used the wrong type of flux, then you will have corrosion on your joint after the fact. So now, let me check that joint. Yeah, see, see how that came right off? I gotta clean it up a little better. All right, All right so I'm gonna take the connector and my pliers on this guy. 
I'm going to put them at the correct angle that I want them at. There's extra solder on that joint. There we go. Perfect. Let it cool down a little bit and remove the pliers. Okay, so now we have to check for sharp edges. This one's pretty good. A tiny little piece right here. There we go. Okay, so now we got to make a boot. We're just going to sit over the cable. So let's go up as far as we need to. Clip it out from a larger diameter shrink tube. There we go. And this guy will go up the connector. Come on, nice and easy. Nice and easy. There it is. Let's pull it through from this side. All right. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this guy here. Let me correct this just a little bit. Okay. Make sure this guy here comes down the port as far as possible, and then we'll use this guy. Inner shrink tube slid down. Come on, Bessie, get up here. There it is. So that uh, smaller shrink tube slid down when I was soldering. Perfect. Okay, so we had some garbage connectors for the bulb. Now we got some good connectors that push on, like so. Yes, nice. Then these wires will tuck down on the inside port, and that is a finished job. There's lots of tension on those too, look at that. Easy cheesy man. Put this guy in. So right. Took the wires. And that is how it's gonna sit.